Salutations, cadets! I'm your Commander Pika, and this is for the Season of the Wishes Week 7 reset on January 9th, 2024. The seasonal story finale is today. Speak to Riven in the Helm to see what unfolds, as there are no spoilers here. And for you Wish Keepers, make sure you visit Mara to get this week's Constellation Quest to get the final intrinsic upgrade and Vorpal Weapon Catalyst for the exotic bow. For our normal recent information, enjoy Bonus Trials Reputation when the mode goes live this weekend. In Normal Crucible, the control playlist is back to normal, and your rotating playlists are Mayhem and Elimination. Checkmate is back in Crucible Labs, this time with the Countdown Rush game mode. And Checkmate got a lot of tweaks in today's update, which we'll go over in a bit. For the Vanguard, the Ops playlist has Void and Strain Surges active, and the weekly Nightfall is PsyOps Battleground Cosmodrome. Featuring Unstoppable and Barrier Champions, Stasis and Solar Surges, Void Threat, and Overcharged Shotgun. Dive in to earn that shiny Warden's Law with the Adept version available from GM Difficulty. And speaking of GMs, the Gilding Node is now live. If you have the base Conqueror Seal, you can choose from any of the GMs you have yet to complete this season. Looking to farm endgame loot, the featured raid is Root of Nightmares, the dungeon is High V Ghosts of the Deep, and the weekly exotic mission is Operation Seraph Shield. In Crota's End, the first encounter challenge, Conservation of Energy, is active, tasking you to only enlighten lamps up to the number of times you preserve the chalice. Over on Neomuna, the Vex Incursion Zone is in Limming Harbor, the Partition Mission is Hard Reset, and the Campaign Mission is First Contact. For Dares of Eternity, it is in Loot Rotation 2, featuring items from Season of the Chosen. Turning to our vendors, Banshee actually has some decent PvP weapons today. That Dire Promise with Snapshot and Rangefinder should do alright in today's sandbox, along with that Peace of Mind with Perpetual Motion and Elemental Capacitor. Over at 801, her weekly shaders are Goldleaf, New Pacific Rush, and New Monarchy Regalia. With that, on to the news. Today, Update 7.3.0.5 rolled out with a myriad of bug fixes and crucible tunings. Checkmate has moved back to the lab's playlist, and during future Iron Banners, a standard 6v6 mode will be available in the Quick Play node. And Countdown Rush got a few bug fixes ahead of a larger update planned for later this season. The real meat of this update comes down to that Checkmate tuning. For abilities, they reduced cooldown penalties to 15%, with Super staying at a 20% penalty, and increased melee damage to allow for 2 hit kills. For the special ammo economy, players will now start the match with 2 kills worth of special ammo in only the Control and Clash game modes. Additional special ammo transplants will be 2 kills worth of ammo, down from 3, and they've rebalanced the ammo points awarded based on assists and objectives. For the weapon sandbox, the purpose of these changes is to keep the optimal time to kill of normal Crucible, but adjust body shot damage to promote more accurate gunplay. Other checkmate game modes also got their score thresholds tuned, along with custom tuning to points awarded towards special ammo transmat. For PvE, Root of Nightmares adept weapons will now drop based on a knockout system, and they fixed a couple of bugs in the Warlord's Ruin dungeon, like the second encounter Warlord not summoning a totem, player's ability to leave the final stand arena, and the awards for certain triumphs. At the time of filming, those items have yet to be added to players retroactively if they've already claimed those triumphs. In the Coil Seasonal Activity, Bungie removed the Annoying Togetherness modifier along with fixing perks, dialogues, and quest progress in that activity. Sios Battlegrounds will also now finally award Glimmer and Loot upon activity completion, and the Vaults and Activities bug has been reintroduced into the game as a tentative feature. PvP Titans, look away, as your beloved Peacekeepers got their effects cut in half. For weapons, Thorn got a slight tweak to the stats awarded by its catalyst, and Stay Frosty and Trace Rifles should have much less annoying muzzle flash. Rounding things out, a few season related quests have been fixed, along with a checkpoint bug with the Fireteam Finder system. Now let's look at that Eververse store. The Season of Undying flashback is here for the next few weeks. If you missed that season and wanted some of its ornaments and cosmetics, now you can, albeit for a hefty silver price. Otherwise, for the Bright Dust section, you have a very heroic pose, an ornament for Wish Under, along with a plethora of shaders and emotes, which will all scroll on screen now. With that, go enjoy this seasonal story, and best of luck to those gilding your Conqueror seal. And apologies for not getting around to sprucing up this reset guide yet. That engram video took quite a while to work on, and it occupied all of my time. But now that it's done and I have nothing planned, I'll finally get to finalize that revamp along with some other YouTube things. If you found this reset guide helpful, then leave a like and make sure you are subscribed for future Destiny guides. And if you want to meet other lovely guardians and enjoy Destiny 2, come join the Sundog Gaming Discord. 
As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.